Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day, folks. Welcome back to On the Bench. Today I'm going to be tying you up a Blue Wing All of a Merger. There's many different versions of the Blue Wing All of a Merger. Mine is based on the RS2 uh, version. Let's so make sure you have these materials handy before you tie the fly. Hook, I'm using a Tolgan's Emerger hook. It's a size 16, 2x short length. For thread, I'm using brown 12 aught nano silk by Semperfly. For the uh, shuck, I'm going to be using one of the large uh, partridge feathers off a of skin. For the body, I'm using Semperfly K pop dubbing in uh, BWO. You could use any uh, olive superfine dubbing, is fine. For the thorax, I'm using Semperfly, and it's the Adams color of the K-Pok dubbing. And for the wing, I'm using Polish CDC and natural, or you could use Blue Dunn. So you can go ahead and start your thread on the hook. I've got my hook tilted in the vise um, to make doing the back of this fly easier. I've brought it right back to the bend, halfway down the bend. Next, take your feather material of choice. I'm using the partridge, the, the large feathers that I rarely use for anything anyways. Um, I've seen this done with different feathers. Um, Bars Immersure, I think, uses um, pheasant tail. I've seen it done with um, white mallard. I'm just going to measure it about the length of the body. Put a couple of wraps in and check my length. Looks good to me. I'm going to bring one wrap underneath. And then just go over top. And you can snip away the excess and then take your hook and turn it right back up. I'm just going to take my thread back down. Next, take your olive uh, dubbing. I'm using the K-Pok by Semperfly. It's their dry fly dubbing to help keep the emerger up in the surface film. Um, but any, any olive or brown, even super fine dubbing. Um, blueing olives come in different colors. I don't know if it depends on the time of year or the location or whatever. I don't know that much about them. I know they're a mayfly um, and there's lots of them, various types. So you might want to try and check your local waters and just see what color they are. Um, but I've seen them done, yeah, with different body materials, anything from turkey biot to dubbing. Um, I originally had a rib on this fly that I took off because I don't think it needs it. Uh, my fly is based on uh, the RS2 version of the Blue Wing Olive Emerger. But there's like Bars Emerger is very famous pattern. So there's all different kinds. Um, I've seen them tied with the wing forward, with the wing backwards, with it straight up clink camera style. Um, so I think it's good just to experiment and do a few different types and see what works. So next I'm just going to take the Adams color of dubbing and I'm using for the thorax and just tie that in. Now I've also seen this done with like, um, like a dark thorax, like a peacock color or even black. So I myself have done um, a couple of the uh, same fly pattern but just with a black thorax. Let's see if I can focus in on that. So this one's just using a tan one. Next, I'm just going to take two pieces of the um, CDC and line them up. Now, I'm using a natural color only because I ran out of blue done because <laughs> I tied too many of them. And, um, but you could use either one. I think either one would be fine. And they don't have to be lined up perfect. I'm just going to find a couple of better pieces, though. Um, I don't like how those ones look. Uh, 
right, I'm going to be trimming them so they don't have to be lined up exactly perfect or anything. And then at this point, I'm just going to take and wax my nano silk. CDC has a tendency to slip really easily. Um, and nano silk is slippery, so it, wax definitely helps. So I'm just going to tighten that good and tight. Three good wraps. Next, I'm just going to snip this off as close as I can get it. And I'm just going to use my nail just to bring it off the hook eye. So I went just a tiny bit too close. And then next, just take your um, Thorax Dubbing Color again. This one I'm using the Atoms by Kate, the K-Pock by Semperfly. And then I'm just gonna dub a tiny little head on here. I might have just a little bit too much. And then you can just go right into the whip finish. And two whip finishes with the nano silk, and that should hold no problem. You don't need any glue or anything like that. I got some stragglers here, the K pock. And then just go ahead and snip away your thread. And then you can take your wing, you could leave it on like long like that if you wanted. I've just been trimming them about halfway down the body. And that's it, my Blue Wing Olive Emerger. Thanks for joining me in this edition of On the Bench. Take care, everyone. As always, conserve the waters and tight lines.